the Apostle Paul said, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, think about these things. Welcome to Daily Devotions from Cram and Kirk on Monday the 15th of June. Let us pray. O holy dove of God descending, you are the love that knows no ending. All of our shattered dreams you're mending, Spirit, now live in me. Amen. If the four Gospels tell us something about the life of Jesus, it's to the Acts of the Apostles that we learn something of the life of the early church. And one of the things we learn is the different way the people of the early church started to look after and to look out for one another. Sharing, caring. One of the remarkable outcomes of the lockdown has been the way people have been looking out for one another. Indeed, I was speaking to one woman who said that for the first time she discovered she had neighbours. So difficult as the lockdown has been for many people, and it has been, I wonder if it has taught, taught us something about the importance of caring, of sharing, of having and of being good neighbours. If you'd like to follow the Bible passage, you'll find it in the book of Acts. It's chapter 2, and I'm going to read from verse 43. Awe came upon everyone, because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Spirit of God, bless to us the gift of this new day. With all its activities and duties, help us to live it well. Help us protect the fragile balance of nature and live at peace with all your creatures. Give us eyes to notice our neighbour's need, ears to hear our neighbour's cry, and a heart willing to respond. Forgive us for opportunities wasted, for words spoken in anger, for unworthy thoughts and deeds, for our complicity in the world's pain, and grant that we may bring forth the fruits of your spirit, kindness, generosity, self-control. We remember and hold before you all who are working in hospitals and care homes, tending to people in their need. People working in supermarkets and shops, driving buses or trains, and those who are working from home. Politicians and their advisors with difficult decisions to take. Medical scientists in laboratories across the world, seeking vaccines and treatment for the good of humanity. We remember and hold before you all who are worried or afraid, anxious or in pain, that they will find in us good neighbours and discover in you their strength and their hope. Keep our faith strong in the victory of your love through our Saviour Christ, in whose words we gladly pray together, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen. And with the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with us all. Amen.